I'm, I'm devoted to this idea, of, and this will shock people, I'm sure, but uninflected line learning. And again, I'll talk about Simon again, but when we ran lines, and when I was working on The Tempest, I remember Simon the second day coming to me and saying, can I meet you in the mornings before rehearsal and would you run lines with me? And I was like, oh, please don't let him be run them in a stupid way, please. And I said, of course, Simon, I'd love to, I'd love to. And he was just brilliant. And I quote you ever since, I quote you today. So I'm, I've got rehearsals on at the moment for a Romeo and Juliet I'm doing in Coventry and in London. And the actors are in agony because the process that I've developed is absolutely obsessively strict, uninflected line learning. We, you would die. I mean, I can't have voice people anywhere near us because, you know, they... they no, I, I'm on your side. On oh, that. I know your side. I, yeah. <laughs> I think you can do it as an uninflected line learning. You can do that. Yeah, absolutely. And the thing is, we have a whole process. We, so I'll, I'll give you a quick example. So I say, you know, um, come you spirits. We, we have robots in our first stage. Come you spirits that tend on mortal thoughts, unsex me here and feel just to shock you all. And then we go, because that is a pattern in itself, we do up and down, random. So come you spirits that tend on mortal thoughts, unsex me here and feel these on their cr I know you're all turning in your graves or in your little living rooms there, but there's a whole process. And then we do um, throwing something at the same time. The reason behind all this is if you get actors to absolutely know those lines without any pattern in a way that it's falling out of their mouths then all of their attention can a hundred percent be on the other actor and the lines just come because they've got a job to do they're trying to get them to do something and now you'll be amazed the only thing I shout in rehearsals and I do shout it is is it working because the actor can see if it's working because they're looking at the other actor with their full attention and now they have the lines, because Shakespeare has given them the lines, they don't even have to think about it. Yeah. We always say that we must trust the text with Shakespeare, but you've also got to trust the actor if they're in connection with the other actor and trying to get them to do something. So mm. I'd say line learning is beyond, I can't express how important line learning is. I'm not just saying because all my actors are watching. I, but, I, I think we should also say in that though, that yeah, um, it's not about just learning, the, you know, Meisner was all about it's learning the lines and the kind of the, the the text will follow but you know Aileen's process and, and how she works is is using that Meissner but it is absolutely about knowing what the text is doing so it is about going into those details of what the text is doing as well but but understanding that you do all that really hard work about absolutely understanding what what is going on um, and then you put it in the back of your brain and it will come in the moment. So it's not just about speaking the words and trusting that the words will do it for themselves. It is all that hard work goes on first. Mm. Well, it's a fast Mike, technique. Mike, can, I, Mike, yeah. can I just say just a very brief example, Michael? Um, the, the way I came up with this line learning thing was my grandmother in Goa. Um, it was in Goa and in Goa when the bell rings at seven o'clock, it's the Angela's prayer. Mm. And she had Alzheimer's and she didn't speak, she didn't do anything all night and day. But at seven o'clock every day, when she heard that bell in her ear, she stood up. She didn't even stand up, but she stood up and recited this huge prayer. And I really remember watching it just going, this is unbelievable, every day. And it's because from when she was seven years old till she was 97, um, that's what they do in Goa. When you hear the bell, you say these prayers. So I, and I, all the family were like, it's a miracle, it's a miracle. And I'm like, this is interesting. And I, because I thought, this is lines. That's a cue. Right. The bell is the cue. And these lines come out unbidden out of her head. She's not thinking at all. And the phrase we use is to learn the lines beyond learning. Because we all can sing happy birthday. We all can say a prayer. Where are those lines in our head? Now, actors, I can tell you now, are immediately better actors and better Shakespeare actors, better any actor, if they learn the lines beyond learning. And it's the thing I'd recommend to anyone listening. Yeah. <laughs> and thanks for that thumbs up, Simon, because I can now say Simon Musselfield did a thumbs up. <laughs> <on the line. laughs> 